Okay, so welcome lovely listeners. Uh, today I've got a, a friend of mine, Mary Arevalo. I might have just said that wrong. Mary, have I said that right? I've said that right, cool. Um, I met Mary um, about 18 months ago in Texas. Mm -hmm. That's right, yeah, Austin, Texas. Um, and Mary is um, a, a bit of a chip off the old block. I do resonate with her in, in both her personal life and also her career and what she's mm -hmm. trying to achieve. So I thought she'd be absolutely perfect to have on the podcast. Um, so thank welcome, you. Mary. Thank you very much for coming. Yeah, thank you for inviting me. Oh, you're very welcome. Um, so, so Mary, in terms of, you know, obviously I know some of your story but for the purposes of, of the listeners what what was the thing that you realized that you were settling for well um both in um uh, personal as well as business uh um i married very young uh i was only 19 and had my children young and I was so busy raising a family that I um, um, I just kind of forgot about me and uh, raising, having my own little family was very important and that was my focus. Um, and then of course kids grow and they go off to school and start their life. And um, I realized after they left uh, that kind of empty nest uh, syndrome uh, that, um, uh, okay, so what about me? What's going to happen now? And, um, I, um, that's kind of when I started, um, uh, my search for, um, uh, focusing on me, I guess. And, um, I started, um, uh, I realized that I, uh, maybe uh, I was I had been so busy taking care of others that I had not taken care of me and I had forgotten me yeah. so um, that's kind of like where um, my switch happened and I started uh, looking for um, uh, mentors and and various programs and uh, started thinking about a career change I had been a health educator for years and all of a sudden it was like um, um, something happened, something woke up where I said it was in my personal life as well as business. And um, that's when we met and I started, I was looking at marketing and educating myself, but I found so much more because I found this amazing community. Um, and in it, uh, I met you and I've met so many wonderful people that um, have taken me through a journey. Uh, a journey about learning about me and loving me and um, uh, what does Mary want both personal and uh, um, business wise and it has it has um, it has been a, a little bit of a roller coaster but one that I would just not change I would because um, it's very important that we love ourselves and we take care of ourselves and we often forget that when we have a family. Was there a sort of a defining moment because I get the whole love yourself bit um, and I think women especially and men but women especially seem to be very guilty of not loving themselves enough. Um, I know you mentioned I, I, and I know when we were in Texas it was a bit of a pivotal time for you but Prior to that, you know, there must have been some kind of build up, I would have thought, before that. So when, when did you start to really realize, or, or was there a defining moment that you thought, shit, what am I doing? Um, yeah. I'm not happy or whatever it was. Or yeah. was it more of a gradual thing? Can you remember? You know, with me, it was, it was gradual because I kind of always knew um, um, I had, you have that feeling, uh, that, uh, something is just not right here. Um, and unfortunately, because I didn't love myself then as I love myself now, I settled and, um, uh, kept myself busy with kids and work and other stuff. And, um, 
it, it was gradual. It was definitely gradual. It would happen every so often. Things would happen in my life that um, I knew um, I was not. I was not happy. So um, it just kind of um, it evolved uh, into. I finally. Um, um, I don't know what happened. Something happened where, as I started uh, meeting people and and looking at career change, um, I knew that um, one of the areas that I needed to learn was the area of finance. And um, it's been wonderful for the last couple of years to be able to really focus in that area and learn and get my license uh, uh, and be able to help people. And as I'm helping pe people, especially other women um, that could be in my same position, uh, if you are financially stable, you're able to make changes where sometimes you, sometimes we feel possibly trapped, that there's nowhere to go, that there's nothing we can do. Uh, there is, um, but at the same time, after years go by um, and we get older, um, sometimes you feel like, um, um, you know, maybe this is it. Maybe this is the way it's supposed to be, you know, and, and you just go on and on. And then the grandkids come and you get busy with that. And, and you think, well, this is it. But uh, there's always been this, this, um, this passion inside me, this thing that, that there has to be more. Um, and I'm a very passionate person and um, I, I need it more. And in a way, in a way, I'm grateful at the fact that um, relationship wise, it's, it's been bittersweet because the, um, there's some things that you don't get, but I've also, I, I also have this best friend. I also have this person in my life that um, I, adore in so many ways um but um you're referring to your husband there yeah, yeah 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 definitely but at the same time and it's very hard it, it's a difficult thing a difficult decision to make when there's many wonderful things but then there's some things missing and then you try to um you know you try to balance it and then you finally decide that um um, you know, it, okay, let, let's take care of Mary and let's see what Mary wants. And um, doing that has been, um, it, it's, it's been, it's been a challenge. It's, I'm still in it. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Um, I can relate to what you're saying. And I'm, I'm quite interested to know sort of how long ago you knew, because mm. like we have shared stories and, and, um, the, the last podcast on here, actually, I did my own story rather than an, an interview. And I knew, even when I was with my husband-to-be, that it wasn't 100% right. And yet I still went through with it all. And I still got married and, and all of that. And of course, sub subsequently got divorced. Mm -hmm. So that, and that was a lot of years of not knowing that it wasn't right. Not, tr not truly right, not what I believe that can be possible, you know. What about yourself? How, how long do you think you've lived that kind of existence? A long time, a long time, definitely. I, um, I right out of high school, I was, um, uh, I, w I wanted my own, to make my own family. I wanted to leave home and, um, um, create my very own family. So I, I believe um, I was too young, definitely too young. And my husband was a little bit older. Um, I, uh, you know, um, within, right, uh, with, even when my son was, was a baby, um, uh, which was a couple years late after we got married, um, we were building our home and everything, but at the same time, um, um, be totally honest, uh, the, the problem was that alcohol was number one and I was number two. Okay. Or, or 
alcohol was number one, he was number two, I was number three. You know, so um, I, I had to battle that um, throughout the years. And it's been many, many years where I, I tried very, very hard to be able to um, um, not replace it, but to, to be as important, uh, to be able to make a difference. And even when there was ultimatums, it was like, you know, you do whatever you got to do. And then that's where the thought of helping women um, that are in situations like that, where if you are stable financially, if, um, uh, whether it be through education or a business or whatever you're doing, then um, although, you know, to going back, I don't know that, I don't know that I would have loved myself enough at that age, um, at that time, even if I had the finances, now that we're talking. Yeah. Because you have to love yourself. And, and, and I, I feel that I didn't, um, uh, I didn't, uh, I, um, I didn't, I allowed myself not to be respected, to be misrespected. Yeah. I, I would have loved myself. I'm being stronger. I would have said, uh, no, enough is enough. You know, so um, it, it took a long time. And, um, and, it, and through the years, of course, I, I don't want you to get me wrong, uh, he's, he's a wonderful person. He's a wonderful man, a great dad, a provider. Um, it's just that he's got this uh, very strong connection with his alcohol. Uh, never abusive, um, just um, not there. Yeah. So, you know, um, I, um, you get lonely, you know, so uh, in a way, um, because it continued through the years, uh, when I finally uh, said no more, um, it, um, I'm, I'm grateful. I am grateful because I've always been able to do whatever, uh, look into whatever, if I wanted to look at a business, uh, uh, I became part of a community uh, of uh, several groups and I started um, uh, mentoring and um, uh, getting, getting co a coaching and, and just learning about taking care of me and loving me. And I've always had space to do that. And um, yes, I've become a different person um, and I am, uh, more honest and I left for five months. Um, there was a circumstance that happened with the family where I came back and my home was here and my family's here and I love my family and it's just being torn between um, the family and me and my life uh, and settling, that thing about settling. Um, but I feel stronger now because I feel that um, I'm, I'm taking care of me more. Yeah. If I'm making any sense. No, you are. You are, absolutely. Um, in terms of the self-love, because, you know, that's, when you think about it, self-love is bloody responsible for a lot of bloody things. You know, you talked about even if you did have the finances 10, 20 years ago, would you have done anything about it? Because ultimately you still didn't respect you, you know, mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and likewise, you know, that I, I was the same because if I did, I wouldn't have settled for somebody that almost was right, but wasn't quite, you know, um, and so many people do it, women and men. Where mm -hmm. do you think, and this is quite a big question. And if you can't answer it, then, then that's absolutely fine because I don't know whether anybody can, but where do you think this lack of self-love comes from? I just recently um, found that out, realized that. Um, and um, it comes from my mom. I just recently, um, she's, she's been gone for about 20 years now. And I've just recently, um, I have forgiven her for that but uh, for the many things, for various things, but um, I, I didn't want to end up like her. 
And that was very hard for me to voice. It was very hard for me to say because I love her so much. Um, but there were, there were several things. Um, the, the physical abuse at home that I resented her for allowing it um, uh, from my uh, father. Um, and then later on seeing her um, alone and going from, from daughter to daughter to daughter and dying alone um, uh, with, without her home, without everything that she worked so hard for. She, she at the end gave it all up and um, uh, it was very difficult for her, but she had some, she had uh, emotional issues that were very deep. So I did not want to end up like her. I had my home, I had my husband, I had my kids, I, I, I had my profession, uh, um, friends. Um, I felt that, you know, um, the longer I could keep that together, the better. And just right here, right now, I just realized for the first time that it wasn't necessarily the finance. It wasn't that because um, I, I, I worked full time when my baby was six weeks, you know, so that didn't matter. Um, I could have done that, um, but it was just afraid, afraid of uh, ending up like that. So afraid of ending up alone, do you think? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. And, and, um, my world ha has opened in so many ways. Once I, I became stronger and I went ahead and um, I spoke my mind, um, I, um, uh, I was able to, I've been able to meet other people and, and have uh, lovely relationships in my life. Um, in the last few years. And um, I'm, I'm grateful because if I had not had the issues that, that I had with my husband, I wouldn't have met other people. I wouldn't have, um, um, yeah, yeah, no, it's been, it's, it, it's, it's a give and take. And um, uh, it took me to um, a new career. Uh, I, th I really have been focusing in finance and I've learned so much, especially with everything that's happening with the oh, yeah. teen and uh, the, um, uh, you know, the, the money issues that are happening and that people are struggling with. And I've been able to make a difference in people's lives and, and, uh, uh, in the in the work that I am doing, I'm a broker, so I'm kind of like the middle person. So I'm able to give them choices, uh, so and point them in the right direction, so that they can, um, you know, uh, make their money last longer, or have long-term care, or various things that are so important, especially for the baby boomers, which is where I'm at. So um, that has been very rewarding for me, and um, and it's taking me to that next level where I will be able to um, make a little bit more decisions. Okay, so what do I want for the rest of my life? What do I want to do? You know, um, like I was uh, sharing with you, uh, I am working on a, um, uh, having a, a group page uh, on Facebook where I can call in a juicy talk between us women. Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> yeah, where we can talk about all kinds of things like this and open up and have it be a private group where we can um, share and learn and grow. And if somebody needs help in uh, the area of uh, exercise and health, well, I was a health educator for over 20 years, so we can talk about that. Uh, if someone wants to talk about sex, let's talk about sex. The fact that, you know, uh, just because you're 60 doesn't mean that you're no longer desirable or wanting sex. Um, the fact that, um, you know, it, it, it's never too late to change careers and learn about marketing and learn about, oh my God, there's so many new ways of having your business nowadays. Um, you don't have to save $500,000 and invest and it's just 
there's so much available for us. Um, so I can't wait to open that, to get that going. So the juices have been working. Um, uh, I used to feel like, oh my God, I've wasted my life. But no, uh, I don't feel like that anymore. I feel that I am exactly where I need to be now. And one of the things, I don't know if you're familiar with Abraham Hicks. With oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Is I she she's saved my life in so many ways. Yeah, because I learned to dream. I learned to just like instead of focusing on what happened or where I'm going, I on, on today and I dream a lot and I find myself. I found myself about a year ago putting exactly what I wanted in my vortex. Mm. what's missing what is it that I want what do I desire business wise what do I desire in my bed what do I desire in my life what do I want for my future and I just started working it and working it and with this big smile I'd be driving and I'd be dreaming and putting this all together and Mel it's happened <laughs> it's happening it's happening. It's kind of like evolved in such a way that um, I'm feeling really, really good. So, yeah. And you look amazing. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Cool. Well, I mean, it's so inspiring, especially because the change of career, when did that really start? Was it a couple of years ago or was it before then? You know, I, I have been a health educator, but I've always dabbed in little side things. I, always, I was always curious. I've always wanted to have my own business. So for the last 20 years, I've been from Amway to you name it. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> you know, it's like finding Avon, finding a, some way to, to do something. Um, and then... Um, about two and a half years ago, I answered I, Facebook. I answered, you know, it was time to wake up, right? Yeah. So I went ahead and I got involved in marketing and learning about marketing and about Facebook. I didn't, at that time, I didn't even have a Facebook. I was on Facebook, Instagram, nothing. But less than three years ago. And um, I learned so much. I learned how to do a website. I, I, just, I just absorbed it all, all in and um, with help, not just by myself, but I, I, it, I loved it. And, and that started that, that thing about, um, at that time, I was also working as an independent contractor uh, as an educator because I was no longer liking having a boss where I needed to be there nine to five. So I was able to get contracts where I would just teach the classes and I would go to the office for a little bit and leave. And I would avoid the drama and all that stuff that goes on. I just little by little started getting away from the corporate world. How did you go from corporate to contracting? Was it easy? Was it in a, a, a you know what made it happen? I became a Zumba instructor. Okay. In 2011. And I started doing, um, uh, I was teaching classes. <coughs> and because I was in health education, whenever they had um, uh, a program or a conference or things that were happening, they liked what, how I did my classes so they would invite me to go and do a, um, a demo, you know, like a 10 minute in between uh, um, uh, at break demos kind of thing. Right. And there I started meeting a lot of the people, seeing a lot of the people that I had worked with for 20, over 20 years because we were all in the medical, in, in health education. And um, all of a sudden I started getting, um, I, I, you know, somebody needed uh, help with because of the obesity. And uh, because at that time I was working with uh, breast and cervical cancer with women's health. So I did some of that, but then there was a need in the obesity area and in diabetes. And um, I just kind of transferred into that area. 
And it, w it worked out really great because then I could incorporate the physical activity into the health and nutrition comp component. So um, that worked out, it just kind of fell into place and then I was, uh, they were coming to me. Brilliant. So yeah, so I got a couple contracts and um, I did that on my own. And as I was doing that, I started, that's when I started learning about um, uh, marketing and how do I market myself and how, do, how does all that work? Um, unfortunately, I have arthritis and my niece uh, started telling me, mm -mm, you, you're not going to be able to do Zumba much longer. So I kind of slowed down on that area, but then I picked up in the area of the marketing and, um, and then now finance and that is going unbelievable. If anybody um, wants information about that, um, uh, we're in every state in the United States and Canada. Unfortunately, not not in the UK, but uh, uh, it's um, uh, there. There's a lot available, a lot of opportunities. I'm I'm currently looking for teammates, huh? you know, because we're really busy. We're really busy. A lot of the financial advisors are older, and they're now baby boomers, and they're getting ready to retire. Yeah. So we we definitely need need people so uh and it's it's a fun way of helping people and making excellent income well if somebody was interested in getting into finance on you know working for themselves um is there a particular website they go to or would they just contact you for you to then they can contact me yeah yeah, yeah. and i'll be happy to to give them the information they need yeah all right yeah. We'll, we'll we'll get those details at the end yeah cool um well i mean you've you've i mean i know the conversations we've had but listening to you then i feel like we've only scratched the tip of the iceberg really in terms of the um the wonderful weaving path that you've led and um, even you know even if you have been in a relationship that wasn't brilliant and all the rest of it you've still been out there doing other stuff um, the self-love thing, just, I suppose, to round that bit off, you know, you mentioned the relationship with your mother and, and how your father was and all that sort of stuff. And, you know, that's, I'm sure some people listening to this are going to resonate with that. Um, it's funny cause I think mine, if I, if I think back to my situation, I, I like yourself, I didn't want to end up like, um, my mom and I didn't want to end up in a relationship like my mom and my dad had cause they used to row a lot about money. Um, but <laughs> in doing all of that, I am the image of my mother and, um, mm -hmm. and I ended up marrying somebody similar to my father. Now my father is, was a wonderful man. Um, mm -hmm. but just had little ambition, was mm -hmm. happy to be a beach bum, you know, and read his book and smoke his tabs. Um, mm -hmm. and, and he didn't want anything from anyone. He was a, you know, very wonderful, humorous, generous human being. Yeah. In terms of the self love, though, I know that I got a lot of shit from my mom growing up, um, as did my sister, and we know that that's happened because she got the same when she was growing up. You know, her it, her she was born in 1941, so her era was a completely different kettle of fish to my era. Is a completely different kettle of fish to my son's era, who's 21 right now. Mm -hmm. um, so but yeah so i think and also for me i think it was caring too much what other people thought of me today mm -hmm. i don't care mm -hmm. i wouldn't say i'm 100 percent perfect on that i would say i'm probably 97 98 percent there with it but mm -hmm. that comes with age and wisdom right and and the battle scars and and the experiences and and all of that um so self love's a biggie, you know, and I think, I think if there are, you know, if there is anyone listening to this that that can resonate with anything that either of us has, have said, you know, mm -hmm. it all starts from within, doesn't it, Mary? You know, oh, until, until we start addressing what's inside us. Yeah. You know, it's funny. It's funny because sometimes people say, you know, um, why didn't you leave? You know, twenty years ago. 
Yeah. And I bet you money now, because it's funny, as we get older, we do get wiser. It does, it does help. <laughs> you know? But now I know, because I, I used to beat myself up saying, why, why other people did it? Why couldn't I? But because of me, I would have ended up in a, right back in another same type of relationship. That's, you know, it, that's what I would have attracted somebody who didn't appreciate or love me. Yeah. So uh, that was more in love with themselves or whatever. Yes. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, so things happen for a reason and we, we got to grow and uh, have experiences, uh, but it's never too late. It's never too late to, to learn. Uh, it's what you surround yourself with. And I don't know, there's, there's a lot of good stuff out there. And I tell you, um, Abraham Hicks has really, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it just changed my life. Yeah. I, I owe a lot there. And um, uh, this is just, um, uh, I don't know. I uh, 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 thank you so much for inviting me uh, to do this because I, I've been really busy and I had not really given this thought, um, this type of conversation. I haven't had it for a while and um, I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling so much better than I used to. <laughs> so I must be doing something right. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, okay, well, if we sort of bring this to a close, um, if you could say, if you could say anything, one thing to listeners that might be listening, thinking that they might feel trapped, or they might feel like they've settled, or they might be unhappy in a certain aspect of their life, if there was one thing you could say. Um, what would you like to say to them? First of all, that I am available, that you could give them my phone number, they can call me, I, I would be happy to, to listen and share. So that's, that's number one. Um, number two is, is um, we, you know, we're a gift. We, we are, we, you know, two little cells had to get together and they battled to, to make you and you're special. And, and um, um, take care of you, uh, love yourself, uh, nourish yourself, your, your in, inside and out. And um, um, think, Think, you know, what, what it is that, that you need. What are your needs? Uh, what would make you happy today? Mm. And also, at the same token, being grateful. Um, I wake up every morning and uh, what am I grateful for today? And when I go to bed at night, what happened today that I am so grateful for? There is so much, especially with what's happening or in the world right now. Yeah. So much to be grateful for. And I'm even grateful for the relationship that my, you know, that I don't know what's going to happen, how it's going to end. Hopefully it will not have to end. But um, just being grateful and happy and, and taking care of, um, to know that you matter, that you matter, that, that I'm Am I, I don't know if I'm answering. Yeah, you are. You are. It's, I think your, your message is very much uh, look after yourself and love yeah. yourself and be kind yeah. to yourself, right? And even if you have little ones, because if you take care of you and you're happy, you're going to be a better mom, a, oh, better, yeah. you're a better daughter or son. It's, it's um, yeah. yeah. It's very important. Okay, so if um, if somebody wants to reach out to you, um, you mentioned about the finance stuff. I also know you're on Facebook, so um, just just let people know where they can find you. Sure, sure. Uh, fin um, financial um, peace of mind. Um, they can always if they do just Google my name, Mary or Rebelo. I think it uh, because my page is um, connected to my Facebook. So Mary Arevalo at Facebook and then Financial Peace of Mind 
um, uh, it's just, I just recently started that. So I'm just kind of doing a little bit of advertising there. Is that a website, uh, Financial Peace of Mind? It's not, it's, it's not a website. It's just a page right now. A just Facebook a page. page, yeah. And also in Instagram. Okay. And can you just spell your surname for people? Yes. Um, so Mary, M-A-R-Y, and Arevalo, A-R-E, B as in Victor, A-L-O. Cool. Arevalo. And my page, um, Juicy Talk Between Us Women, is uh, under construction. It'll be out soon. Brilliant. Okay. Well, that's fantastic. And I so appreciate your time. Um, well, it's this evening for me. It's this afternoon. Yeah, it's this afternoon for you. Um, I've thoroughly enjoyed seeing you again. It's been too long. Um, and I'm sure our listeners have loved this chat as well. And um, thank you so much. And um, I know that you've got all the love and the blessings in the world, but I, I send them to you for everything that you're doing right now. Thank you. I feel it. I appreciate it. Same to you, baby. Yeah. Thanks, Mary.